we get the angle on the dangle right. Angle on the dangle. Morning guys, welcome back to Red River Living. Today we're back down in the bottom working on our lean-to shed. We're setting up our batter boards and pulling a string on it. This is going to help us square stuff up. It's going to help us mark off where our posts are going to end up being. It's just, it's a little bit of extra work, but in the end it just helps you square things up and keep things a little bit more in straight line and everything. Well guys, we kind of got our strings pulled. We've gone in and marked our string every eight feet to get an idea of where our poles are going to set. And now Jared and I are about to start digging some holes and start putting some boards in the hole and try to just get stuff laid out a little bit and see how it's going to look as we get it uh, put together. So as you can tell, we're setting our post right now and we're actually just pouring our concrete in dry right now. Thought about putting it in wet, but we are trying to continue working and may not be the best practice, but we've got a ton of moisture in our ground right now. Uh, we'll add some water later, but we wanted to be able to keep working and not disturb it while it was trying to set up. So we're just gonna keep adding our concrete to it Hopefully get our two by sixes installed and getting everything pinned together and then allow it to set up overnight. So right now we're measuring off where our next pole is going right now. We had marked our string, but I broke the string, so I'm having to re-measure some stuff right now. 23.7. We've gotten our last pole set right here on the front side. So now we're gonna run us a pole, uh, two by six across the top as a front header board right here, start tying the frame together. Things should start looking a little bit better looking more like a pole barn. We got some extra four uh, by fours in the front. I just thought we needed the support. Um, it's not as open as maybe some people might have seen them, but I just wanted plenty of support on the front. Five and a half.
Hey, thank you. So we took us a test board and set it up there against our four by fours and marked a board, cut it, then fit it. And now we've come back down and we're marking boards off this one we've already marked and fit. So that we'd get the angle on the dangle right. The what? Angle on the dangle. <laughs> Are these considered rafters? Dangles? Yes, these yeah. would be. These would be rafters. Maybe that's a more proper term. Well, <laughs> you still got to cut an angle to it, and I don't know what you call that. <laughs> This thing dead. Dead. Thank you. You're welcome. Come here. Well, guys, as you can tell, here at Red River Living, it's getting late this afternoon, but. We're trying to get some of our um, rafters in and be able to get ready for putting our tin on later on. But we made a lot more progress today than what we thought we were. Earlier today, it was looking kind of bleak. We are about to wrap up all of our woodwork here. Um, we are putting in just some of the straps, metal straps underneath the hangers to hold the boards. A um, little overkill, but I do expect it to last a long time. So that's what we're finishing up right now. Uh, tomorrow, we should start working on the tin and the sides. So. Guys, appreciate it if you'd like and subscribe. We'll see y'all next time.